Hello, welcome back. Now we're going to check out the Bullets collection that's been added as of January 2023, brand new. Okay, so taking a look at this project window is a little less intimidating than the uh, Modern Firearms main project window. So what we have is essentially these three different bullet tracks. There's bullet large, medium, small, and then there's uh, corresponding shell drops for each of these different types of or sort of categories of weapons. So there's assault, assault rifle, shell drops, and pistol, shotgun, sniper rifle, and so forth. All right, before we go any further, I'm gonna mention this in both of the overview videos for, for these uh, new ones. Um, you're gonna need to upgrade the Enrage plugin to the latest version, which I believe is right around 3.10 or so. If you don't have that, if you don't do that, uh, these are not gonna play back correctly and things are gonna act a little bit strange. So let's go ahead and do this bullet large sub project inside of here primarily what you're going to find and i can show you this it's easier to look at the list here and the region marker manager so you have a whole lot of impact material for these these different sizes of bullets so we have materials such as concrete dirt grass uh, metal like it's pretty comprehensive so very well covered in the types so go ahead and play through just a couple quickly and then I'll break down the layers for you. All right, so here's some dirt, grass, metal, metal hollow, wood. All right, cool. Carpet even. Yeah, so quite a quite a bit of material. Now I ended up using the concrete for the uh, for the Unreal and wise project. So we'll go back to that and break down the layers so you can see what's inside that project when I flip open to it, give you an idea. So um, what I ended up doing is, again, I mentioned this in the other video, but I rendered out the tracks essentially as my, well, actually in this one, I think I did the, I just used the composites since there's a little bit less material and there's a little bit less that I wanted to actually randomize. But um, I ended up kind of using these concrete here pretty much as they were. So here's the body, and then here's the additional character, which is kind of like emphasis on the type of material. So here's more of that kind of dirt that you would expect in there. And then there's some additional layers down here. So there you have a tail again, which might be something easy to decide to mute. If you just wanted something a little bit more low profile, you maybe would get rid of the tails on some of these. All right, so the other thing that is in here, it's kind of a primary feature of these. They have some miscellaneous sort of tracks, so that would include some ricochets. And then these bullet cracks. And then of course some pass-bys, which are you know, also important. So you have quite a number of each, you know, between six or eight, looks like. Pretty dynamic stuff. But again, really well covered. All right, so let's check out some of the shell drops in the assault rifle sub project. So there's uh this is not these are not too complex as far as these um you know the number of track count and the amount of material in there. But again, it's all well covered. You have all of the different materials, same as what you had in the other uh, sub project. So it's carpet, you know, all the same things that I went over, carpet, metal, dirt, so on and so forth. And I don't recall seeing ice in the other one, but you have ice. So these are all what you'd expect, the shell casings from this particular assault rifle. And, you know, we're dropping them in different uh, different types of material. Um, there is one thing I did want to point out, though, which is on the basic layer main shell drop track, which is really prim the primarily active one on here, you have this Enrage Monomaker plugin. It's turned on, at least in the version I have, it's turned on by default, so you'll... Note that our files, these are stereo files, but you can, you know, go here and quickly turn this on or off, I think, and it'll give you a different result. All right, so there's a stereo version. So that's, again, a nice little touch, a nice little tiny little feature that they put in here that um, just makes it a little bit more usable because a lot of times you're probably going to want these in mono anyways. All right, so flipping back into Wise. So I went ahead and uh, if you haven't seen the uh, the overview for the Modern Firearms collection yet, I have a um, bunch of tracks in there 
for the assault rifle. And then what I've done here is I've added impacts, those concrete ones we were listening to. So that's all in here. And they're in random containers. Nothing too complicated about it. And then, of course, I made some events associated with both of those. So here it is without the uh, casings or the impacts in here just yet. So here's how the bullet impact should sound. And because I didn't really have the opportunity to set up like a full, like real project, I ended up kind of faking this a little bit. So what I did was I just added to the end of the shot event that it'll post that bullet impact automatically. And then of course I, you know, I mixed it appropriately in things to make it seem like it's kind of where you would imagine the bullet hitting. Uh, but the timing is probably a little off, but any case. So there you can hear the dirt in there at the end. Turn the shot down just a little bit. So there, now you can hear that dirt. So I have it kind of set up like it's hitting that box a little bit. So the bullet casing, also something I took care of really quick right in here in this part of the animation. Probably not where I'd put it realistically, but it serves the purpose in the context of everything else. Again, you want to take a look at the overview for the modern firearms as well and see the rest of uh, this content and what I did here with this uh, example project. Give you a little bit more of an overview of some of the rest of the material, just a quick preview. Let's hear some of the medium pass bys, some medium impacts. Uh, this is body, carpet. There's some shotgun shell casings, which are pretty cool. Different material. You can pretty much imagine where, like, what the rest of this is in here. But again, what you want to know is that it's really well covered, and you're not going to be um, having to go run out and find uh, some other different sort of uh, weapons or uh, firearm library, especially with the amount and depth of material that's in here. Okay, so there we have it for the uh, bullets collection. Be sure to go ahead and check out the Modern Firearms Collection overview as well. And you can see the rest of what we did. Um, it's pretty cool stuff. So um, definitely make sure that you in install that Enrage plugin. And make sure it's up to date, the latest version. Thanks again for watching. And you know, if you're liking and enjoying these videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you need help with something, we'll try to kind of address it as we're able to.